We are at the Care for Sound Symposium, uh, arranged by the Sound Environment Centre uh, at Lund University in collaboration with Ecofon. And I'm standing here with Professor Emeritus uh, Törres Teurel from the Stress Research Institute and Karolinska Institute in Stockholm. Welcome, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. You gave a very interesting presentation uh, and you brought up a very interesting intervention study in a coronary care unit. Could you explain a little bit what you did in this study? Yes, this was uh, an intervention study in the sense that the tiles in the roof were uh, changed. Uh, so during one period there was reverberating uh, roof uh, and during another period, uh, the roof was absorbing sound. And this made an enormous difference. We measured various things. We measured what happened to the patients. And there, there was one uh, stress indicator, uh, an objective parameter, which was uh, well influenced by this, uh, particularly those patients who had the most severe illnesses. and. Uh, we measured uh, how the staff perceived the situation and they were less stressed, uh, less irritated and angry during the period with a good sound environment. And uh, f finally, we also asked the patients about the quality of care. And to our surprise, they reported that they found that the attitude of the staff had been much better during the period with a good sound environment. So all of those findings pointed in the same direction, really. And what was the most surprising finding yeah, in the perhaps, study? Uh, perhaps the most surprising finding was that uh, when we interviewed the patients, uh, no, 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 the staff afterwards, they told us that they were very surprised about this and they were, you know, stunned by the fact that the sound environment was so important and that it made such a difference to have a good roof versus a bad roof. So that was uh, perhaps the most surprising finding. It's a very, a very uh, often cited study in the literature, which is uh, amazing. Um, mm. But if you look at healthcare today, where are we with regards to knowledge and awareness about sound environments? Yeah, well, th this is the, the kind of thing that, that people don't quite realize the importance of, I think. And uh, uh, the good thing about the sound environment is that you can do very practical things very well easily and also without any uh, enormous costs so this is a thing we should really do more uh, about and uh, we should increase the awareness i think there is very little awareness about the enormous importance of the sound environment you also spoke about adding sounds such as music. Yes, yes. There is a whole research now um, rapidly growing up and uh, there is no doubt that you can influence a lot of things also physiologically. For instance, you can, if you uh, wake up after surgery, there is one study showing that the uh, hormonal levels uh, could be influenced. For instance, oxytocin levels increase uh, and oxytocin dampens pain and anxiety but there are lots of other studies showing that yes you can uh, beneficially influence pain ratings uh, uh, breathing patterns uh, heart rate a lot of things can be you know influenced but of course you have to choose the right music for the right person at the right occasion so you shouldn't expect that anything goes, so to speak. You have to be individualized. Fascinating. Fascinating. Is more individualized care something for the future then? Yes, in general, of course, that's true. Yes, absolutely. Good. Okay, I shall let you go. Uh, thank you so much for participating, and we thoroughly enjoyed your presentation. Thank, thank you. you.